What's up YouTube, Christo here. Uh, finally have my long-awaited Sack O oh Shit Part 5. I've uh, sold off a lot of bottles, traded off a lot of bottles, and I've become much more strict in my blind buying. Uh, so I'm really slowing it down because I don't want to run out of them. So uh, I think I did my first three Sack O oh Shit videos over a span of about three weeks. And uh, yeah, I don't want to run out of them. I want to, you know, keep it going for a while. So I'm just slowing it down, that's all. But um, I know a lot of people have been requesting this, asking if I'm still doing it and whatnot, and I am. Uh, if you haven't watched the other four parts, what I did is I took bottles from my own collection that something about them I don't like, or I just plain don't like them. And I'm going to. I put them in my sack of shit, I'm going to pull them out one by one and give a unrehearsed description of the scent. Now, please remember this isn't meant to be a jab at anyone who likes this. This is just my personal opinion. I totally live um, my life and the, the, um, the whole philosophy of to each his own and you know, that goes to here, you know, I don't like this, but perhaps someone else does, and I'm sure there's plenty of things that I really like that a lot of people out there do not. So please keep that in mind. This is all meant to be in the spirit of fun. Um, I have had really amazing feedback, even people who really like stuff that I pull out, um, you know, they have, you know, a great sense of humor, they have really great, you know, sportsmanship with this, and, you know, they love it just as much as other people. So let's get to it. I'm going to reach in my sack of shit and pull something out. All right, what have we got here? Ah, okay, this one. This is actually one of my newest bottles. This is Gucci Pour Homme, the original 1976, I believe. Um, now this one, I knew this was going straight in my sack of shit when I bought it. I bought this solely just to have in my collection. It is a very famous scent. There are a lot of people out there who absolutely love this. It's just totally not my style. It smells very dated. It smells very old man-ish. It smells very offensive and abrasive to me. Um, you know, it's not just the age. I've smelled Guerlain's and Creed's that predate this by like 70 years and they smell more modern than this. It's just a real toxic citrus patchouli musk mix that just does not work for me. Um, I will not wear this very much, if ever, but um, I really like having it on my shelf. It's got a great classic vintage bottle. Um, so, you know, I'm actually pretty happy with this. I got a good price on it, but um, I'm never going to wear it. It's pretty damn bad. Alright, so next Ah, let's see what I got here. Get a hold of something, okay. Ah, alright. Paco Rabanne Ultraviolet for men. This one I was never too convinced by. I, I bought this, I kind of liked it, and now I just can't wear it. It's too plasticky, it's too synthetic feeling. I know this was kind of meant to be um, an attempt at kind of an ultra-modern scent with like the space age bottle and the kind of science fiction-y scent to it. Um, it smells like blue plastic flowers, that's what I think of when I smell it. Um, I actually heavily prefer the summer flankers of this, they're actually much more wearable. They've got a really nice, um, but yet um, strange um, grapefruit note in them, which actually makes them quite wearable in my opinion. This one, however, uh, this is just a little out of my league. Um, I don't find it very nice. I find it really hard to wear. It is very synthetic in a bad way, in my opinion. Um, I have kind of changed my mind on this. I did like it when I first got it, but not anymore. All right, another one. Let's see what I got. Okay, what's this? Ah, oh, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, I know that. Uh, this is M7, Yves Saint Laurent, and this is also the vintage formulation. This is the original uh, formulation from the late, 80, uh, late 90s, I believe. Um, I bought this 
semi-blindly. I had smelled it before and I wasn't utterly convinced by it, but my tastes have changed a lot since I first tried it. So I figured I'd grab it. It's only a 50 ml bottle um, and I'm sure it'll be pretty easy to get rid of, but um, I might keep it just because you know it does look good in the collection. Uh, to me, I don't know, the thing is with this, people, uh, oud right now is the new trend. Everybody's crazy about oud and apparently this is one of the first mainstream designers to have, uh, designer scents to have oud in the scent. Um, this strongly as well. Um, personally to me I find it to be way too synthetic and harsh smelling. Um, I'm not a huge fan of oud. I, I can appreciate it um, if it's well done and this to me is just not well done. I find it abrasive and harsh and really difficult to wear. Um, the synthetic oud note is just way too off-putting. Um, I don't know, I'm sorry guys, I just don't like it. All right, let's grab another one here. Okay, what's this? Oh, top came off. Where is it? There it is. Now, this one, this is another big surprise. Um, this is Versace Pour Homme. Uh, this actually made my top 10 designer scents for summer 2011. Um, and I've sung its praise many times in between uh, then and now, but I wore this two or three weeks ago and I just could not get over how harsh and synthetic feeling it was. Um, I'm blaming this for all my friends in the fragrance community who've gotten me into niche. Joking, of course. But um, I just find this to be really harsh, synthetic, uh, very plasticky. Um, it doesn't smell natural at all. I do think it does smell quite a lot like Allure Homme Sport, Sans the um, vanilla note. But it's still, it's just... I don't know, it's not doing it for me anymore. I, I just find it a bit too synthetic and plasticky feeling. All right, I'll give you guys one bonus bottle since it's been a couple months. I'll pull out one more. And I will take uh, this one, Chopard Kosran. This is a bottle I kind of knew was going to be in my sacro ship from the get-go. Uh, I tried it and I honestly only bought it because it is quite rare and hard to find. Um, but it's a really synthetic birch based fragrance and I don't like birch notes and I think this is why. Um, I've tried a few other birch based fragrances since then and the birch totally stands out to me now and it really irritates me. Um, so this one, yeah, I've had this for, I don't know. A little less than a year I'd say and I don't think I've ever worn it. Um, I gave a decant away to one of the guys in Jakarta. Um, I don't know what he said, I don't think he ever mentioned it. Maybe just to be kind, he didn't want to poo-poo it, but I don't know. I, I This is, man, if you're thinking about buying this for like 125 bucks on eBay, man, I don't know, blindly as well is really not good. It's really, really synthetic. Uh, the thing, I guess, as well, Chopard make like multi-million dollar watches and diamond rings and stuff. So I thought this was going to be super high quality, but uh, it's absolutely not at all. So Kostron from Chopard totally makes it into my sack. Oh shit! So there you go, guys. Um, very long-awaited. I hope it was worth the wait. Um, please leave feedback. I encourage you to leave feedback to let me know what you think. I know there's going to be people defending M7, um, just not my style. So thanks so much guys and stay tuned. I promise I'll have a few more videos out in the near future. Thanks a lot for watching.